41-24, a lopsided game in the box score, but a much closer game in person. One of momentum shifts and runs. Tulane scored 24 straight points in the first half to take a 17-point lead, only to watch the Cajuns swing the momentum right back and pull within three in the fourth quarter. Bam Jackson's touchdown made it 27-24 with 10 minutes to go. It was life for a Louisiana team that never found the end zone again. A nearly six-minute drive that included a fourth down conversion and was capped off by a touchdown, put Tulane back up by two scores and sealed the Cajuns' fate. You can't start slow against a good team. You know, um, we started slow, stalled out a couple drives after the first touchdown, and they're a good team. They, they came and executed at a high level and got up early on us. We showed some fight, and we it could have went our way. We had opportunities to win the game at, at a point. Today's outcome is a direct reflection of who blocked better, who tackled better, who covered better, who threw and caught the ball better. I mean, there's nothing secret about what happened out there today. Our team was not ready to play, um, and that's my job and my responsibility. Now coming into this game, Elijah Mitchell was just a few yards shy of 1,000 for the season, looking to become a second Cajun player to do that this year, something Louisiana hadn't done since 2008, but Mitchell was bottled up so he does not reach the milestone this season. But as Billy Napier pointed out in the press conference, the good thing about this Cajun backfield is Elijah Mitchell, Trey Regis, and Raymond Kale will all return in 2019. Reporting on the Cajuns in Orlando, Florida, Andrew Clay, KTC Sports.